Welcome back, everyone. Squash to arugula, basil to beans. September brings a whole host of wonderful fruit and veggies. A healthy chef, Nancy Waldeck, joins me now to share three easy recipes to enjoy the fall's best produce. Welcome Yay! back. Oh, this is an amazing spread that looks phenomenal. Everything's in season. So this is the colors of the season. Aren't yes. they beautiful? So beautiful. And I love that we're taking all of what is in season now, and you're finding us a, a way for us to actually enjoy them that's not going to stress us out. Perfect no, for easy peasy. family dinner or maybe if you have friends over and let's dive right in. What's the first thing we're making? Okay, so this is a zesty and cool arugula dip. And the reason I named it that is because doesn't that just look a little cool yes. for Indian summer? Yes. So four ingredients, Christine. Okay. All nice. right, so easy. So look at this beautiful arugula. Mm. I got this from a local farmer and look how big it is. Yeah. It's just gorgeous. I know you just came back from Italy and that's an Italian veggie, yes. right? So well, beautiful. It's in season here in Georgia right now. So we've got our food processor, arugula, a little bit of Greek yogurt, some goat cheese, and finally, lemon juice. Yum. That's it. Okay. You got to try it. <laughs> I will try it. I like your sound effects. Yes. It's better to do that than actually turn the food processor mm -hmm. on in this segment. That is phenomenal. I know. It is so good. So you can use it instead of mayo. It'll keep in wow. your fridge for like four or five days. Pita pocket. Tomatoes, little avocado. That is arugula. wonderful. Yeah. All of these flavors blend together beautifully. I mean, that's that really pops. That's amazing. And I love, love that it. arugula is called rocket in the UK. In the UK. Yeah, because it's a little it's, spicy. It is. It's yes. good. Okay, next up, I've got a soup here. And again, mm. all these seasonal vegetables. And they're so pretty. So I have sweet potatoes and onions and zucchini. I don't know about you, but I've got a lot of zucchini yeah. to deal with right now. Ginger. And then I have a spice blend here. A lot of spices that we've already used in the kitchen before together, Christine, like garam masala, easy to find in the grocery store, in the spice aisle, and turmeric, cinnamon, um, pepper, and chili powder. Yum. Yum. What, what does this one say it again? Garam masala. Garam masala. masala. And yep. what kind of uh, flavor does that add to a meal? It's so interesting because it's a mix. So it's like cinnamon and coriander and allspice. Yum. And if you smell it, Christine, smell Ooh. Isn't that lovely? That is wonderful. Okay, so all we oh, do wow. is saute these veggies up with some red lentils. So I love pretty. Lentils. I do too. And parsnips. Have you used parsnips before? I, I haven't cooked with parsnips uh, in a long time. I mean, unless, and I, I usually don't like, that's not something I would have in my kitchen. I don't know why. I. I have no idea. Yeah, because you can buy them in the carrot section. Right, the grocery right. Store, so why right don't I? The why, why do we shy away from parsnips? I don't know because honestly, they're sweeter than carrots, and you can even eat them raw. So the kids might even like the girls might like something um, right. different. Exactly. Yeah. So a little parsnips. Try that. Yep, and go great. And look at that soup. It is beautiful. And then Thank what you. did you just? Um, this put is a the Greek yogurt, and just a little. We just chopped up a little parsnip wow. and put some more garam masala on it, just because. We this, could. This smells amazing. Is that just... I'm so ready for fall. Just all these scents and the flavors, yeah. um, just delicious. Oh my gosh. And so it's that super easy to make. We made it creamy with the induction mm. uh, or the immersion blender. Um, no so cream. Good. Yep, no, no cream. No cream, but it tastes so, so creamy. Yeah. You would not know it. Exactly. Okay, so Maybe. now... So, so we started with four ingredient recipe. We're starting, or we're ending with just a recipe with just a few ingredients too. Good. So what Easy. we did, yeah, green beans in season, just regular, oh my gosh, they're on sale at all the grocery stores. Good. So, um, and then we have some prepared pesto. So this is one of those recipes that you can use some prepared foods Thank already from the store. Yes, yes. Yes. yes, always from scratch, you're saving yes, me, I yes. love it. So prepared pesto Good. makes the dressing and then a little bit of olive oil some balsamic. Mm, I'm still tasting the flavor of the I soup. Know. I mean, that is amazing. And then if you'll salt sure. a little bit, not the whole thing, Christine. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she saw me going for a pinch. Like, That's gonna be a big pinch. All right, I'll that. And just a little bit of black, freshly ground black pepper. I'm gonna let you shake it off. Shake, shake, shake. I'm gonna put these green beans that just have a little olive oil. They've been roasted in a 400 degree oven for about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. 
those green beans go on, and then you're going to drizzle some of that dressing. And right. you got more dressing than um, you need for the green beans, so you'll have some in your fridge for salad tomorrow, right. too. I mean, I have to tell you, I cheated in the commercial break and had these beans, and I, I loved it even without yeah, it. Yeah, but exactly. But just to have this, as you said, I just did a light drizzle yeah. um, for to keep for the week with your salad. Amazing. Yep. And I'll give you, you can you can snitch a green bean, but I'll also just give you this. A little bit? Okay. Yep. Well, I'll be more polite about it than I did earlier. Okay. Well, I don't know. I might have to just. All right. Just I'm use like, your All right, I'm going to use my finger. Just shoot your finger. You guys are used to it, the viewers. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Basil, pesto, prepared basil, pesto. That was it. Balsamic, olive oil, that back salt and pepper. That is amazing. Yep. So All of these books, um, these recipes are in the book, right? And they're on my website today, mm, right? Good. I blogged today and said how excited I was to come see you because I missed you. you I missed bit. you. Yes. You always take such good care of us. These recipes and so many more are on Nancy's website, as she said, or pick up her book as well. The website, though, is tasteandsavor.com.